Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are here with another of our 12 Battles of Christmas, and today the mod we're showcasing is 1100 AD for Rome 2, and this is really, really fun. We have another special guest with us today, it is Bok BG, one of the mods for 1100 AD, who we are playing on this online battle now it was really fun we did a few battles so you'll see more of them coming out on the channel in the following days as well now without further ado let's go through our army compositions this is my side the abbasid caliphate i believe um and he is the crusader kingdom of antioch that are fighting in the desert sands here and so my uh, my army was quite risky really quite a risky online army i would say um because my infantry was was very poor really so we started with a few units of the persian spearmen i believe four of those and one unit of the levy spearmen look at these guys they really do not have any armor or anything to protect them with my uh, persian spearmen are actually okay to be fair but not amazing uh, infantry by any means but then we come to the back where we had our Persian cataphracts. These boys are absolutely beastly. Fantastic unit. Look at them. Really, really good unit. Going to be so strong in melee there. And hiding behind this little outcrop, we also have four or five units of the Persian um, horse archers. Hoping to harass the enemy, uh, enemy troops. Uh, and finally, our general was armored indian elephants armored indian war elephants absolutely beastly unit and a very scary unit are we going to be able to get the best out of them today you shall see now looking at box army over here he has some crusader knights very strong cavalry over there and some more crusader knights on the flank as well as crusader heavy cavalry as his general look at these boys looking very mean indeed and ready to go on the back line we have lots of good infantry unlike ourselves uh, he has his crusader infantry over here he has hospitaler hospitalier uh, ho swordsman if i can pronounce it right uh, very strong unit again uh, and then some more crusader infantry uh, as well as some more hospitalier uh, swordsman as well as a few archers we have pilgrim infantry coming along here as well not too bad a unit honestly medium melee infantry better than my infantry definitely and on the front line we have some antioch longbowmen and some pilgrim archers ready to rain fire down on us today and without further ado guys let's get into the battle now this was a really really fun battle my tactic initially um, although I've never played an online battle on uh, 1100 or even Rome 2, I believe, until I played this battle, um, was to just tie in his infantry, whatever infantry he had, uh, just to tie them in and let our cavalry and our elephants go to work. Um, and we shall see whether that works here today. Because this infantry that he has brought is incredibly strong as we watch them moving out uh, through the desert there look at that beautiful beautiful scenes and i'm going to try and take a couple of screenshots see whether that'll be thumbnail thumbnail uh, uh worthy there but we are going to bring our inf uh, our horse archers forward try and harry the crusader knights here and i know how strong those units are going to be and we need really for our cavalry to have a free run upon the enemy uh, upon the back of the enemy if we're going to have success here today so by harrying these guys, we're hoping to bring them down a little bit uh, and, yeah, and destroy them if we can. Uh, we only got rid of one there, so that was not great. But we're still going to keep coming forward uh, and sort of use the hill as a bit of a, uh, a bit of a disguise there to where we're moving. But you can see he's moving into a bit of a defensive situation on this right-hand side. Interestingly enough, he doesn't have any spearmen. So we don't need to worry about our cavalry being bogged down by spearmen here. But as you can see, because of uh, moving my cavalry round onto this left flank, he is going to bring his cavalry forward. Sorry, I had two units of the armored Indian elephants there, not just one. So a lot of my money spent on these elephants, which is why we went with such poor infantry. So are they going to be ready uh, for today? 
to take down the enemy. We shall see. As he brings his Crusader Knights and his Pilgrim Archers forward. So as you can see, we're really trying to stretch out this left flank of the enemy. As he's bringing his Antioch Longbowmen forward. Who are taking out a few of my Horse Archers. Which is uh, quite annoying. And as you can see, because they can't really see the enemy, they're actually not firing right now. So I put them in a pretty bad place here. Because they're all in range of firing at someone. Uh, and as you can see, we're going for a big charge with the Cataphracts down this left flank for us here. Kind of worried about this swordsman getting us bogged down as the front lines engage uh, with each other. Very nice to see indeed. Our levy spearman getting involved uh, as we bring our cavalry. But he's going to move his maneuver his cavalry to uh, do some damage as we charge our cataphracts in. Come on, boys. Let's go. Charge. Let's take another screenshot there. Beautiful. Look at that. Glorious charge into the enemy there. See the Pilgrim Infantry taking a battering. But he does manage to get his cavalry into the back of us there. The Crusader Knights. And that is not really going to be too helpful. As we also charge into his Crusader Heavy Cavalry uh, General over here. So uh, cavalry engagements all across the front line. As the front line descends into chaos. As our elephants go ham on these Hospitalia Swordsmen. Come on Ellies. Let's go. It's got to be a screenshot that, hasn't it? Fantastic. But you can see our uh, Persian spearmen are not doing well. They've nearly lost uh, down to a third of their men there. And you can see some of these guys doing okay, but the rest of them just crumbling. And our front lines really, really not doing too well there. That is the problem with bringing such terrible infantry as cavalry engagements continue along this front line. Look at that. Brutal cavalry engagements over here. As Cataphract goes up against Knight. Very glorious, glorious fight to see here. But we are going to disengage from that. Or try and charge the back of the Pilgrim Infantry once again. Uh, and you can see I was getting quite harried by these archers. So I did send my elephants. But that was a bit of a mistake. Because look how far away from the main action they are getting right now. As quite a few of them have actually fallen. Uh, against the Hospitalia Swordsman there. So we did lose half of our elephants on that first unit. But we still got a full unit over here. And they're just not quite quick enough to really keep up with the archers. So that is going to be a major issue for us going forward. As you can see, big problems in the center. As, our, uh, as the Pilgrim inf Infantry do start to uh, run away. But our Persian Spearmen and Levy Spearmen just don't have enough against the enemy. As you can see, Hospitalia Swordsmen still ready in the wings, as well as Crusader Infantry and more Longbowmen. As our Horse Archers really didn't do much in this battle. Maybe a bad choice to bring Horse Archers. If I was going full cavalry, I should have just gone for more Cataphracts, I would say. Uh, and I, as you can see, our Elephants just bogged down by Archers going the wrong way. That was a major mistake that I made here. But we can see the Armored Indian Elephants getting involved in the battle, going for the charge. Come on, boys. Let's get that. Let's get that charge. Let's get a couple of screenshots in there as well. Glorious to see. Glorious charge into the back of that Pilgrim Infantry. And then finally, they're going to start breaking over here. But you can see this left flank really has been cleaned up by, uh, by Bok over here, by Bok BG. Um, very, very well indeed. A fantastic job he did there. And my horse archers really, really... Not paid for themselves, I would say. We'll have to see at the end uh, how many kills they did. But I really want to say that they did not pay for themselves. And the other big mistake was, of course, leaving this fresh unit of elephants out fighting archers when they should have been involved in the melee. And as you can see, my general is starting to uh, rout here. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is not going to be a good situation as we try and take out the rest of their men. But really, really struggling with, uh, uh, with destroying that infantry. It was so strong. So very strong in the middle there. And there we are. It uh, is done. So let's uh, have a look at the results as we can see here. So we deployed about similar. And look at that. We lost so many more. Killed so, so many less. And you can see, look at this. The horse archers did nothing. They were really not a good option 
there. Four kills, three, five, and nine. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And I should have brought more of the cataphracts here. Um, to charge while well, these guys just held the line. And you can see some of them did okay. 90 kills there, but 6 only for the other one. But this elephant, 266. That is crazy. Crazy stats there. Very good indeed. This one only 56 because I got it tangled with archers rather than using it. If I'd maybe use that and they got another 200 kills like this unit, we'd be closer, a lot closer. In terms of his units... Look at that Antioch Longbowman, 146 there. Very good indeed. As well as this Pilgrim Infantry, 247. They all did fantastically well. Um, and his cavalry doing decently as well. So a great battle overall. A really good fun battle. And guys, I hope you really enjoyed this. Uh, another installment of our 12 Battles of Christmas. I hope you're enjoying this series. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And go and check out the 1100 AD mod. It is a fantastic mod. You can find it on the Steam Workshop, which I will link down in the description below. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Merry Christmas. And I will see you all again on the next video.